Have you ever wondered how to wash your hair Edwardian style? Well, this is something I had to figure out while I was dressing in Edwardian clothes. Following a rather eggy recipe found in the 1911 Progress Meatless Cookbook, I made a mess on the back porch but ended up with a clean head of soft, shiny hair. So grab some eggs and a pitcher or two and join me while I wash my hair, Edwardian style. So I have all the ingredients I'm gonna need um, for this hair washing process here. I've got a pot to catch the water for my hair. Um, I don't have a wash basin and pitcher, sadly. Um, I'm gonna have two pitchers full of water. And we can actually make the shampoo now. So I'm following an Edwardian recipe. Um, I will. I found it on Lena So Historically's blog, and I can link. She got it from a historical text. Um, I will link that in the description. Um, but the recipe calls for two eggs. And I actually I have used this recipe to what I consider great success before. two eggs, and lemon juice. And I like the lemon juice a lot because I feel like it acts as an astringent and feels like it really cleans my scalp out nicely, which is the goal with a shampoo. Well, I feel like the eggs really help to condition and add strength and shininess to my hair. And my hair does feel very shiny and soft after I wash it. Um, and my scalp isn't dry, which is the issue I found with Castile soap, which is another period method of hair washing. I have washed my hair with Castile soap for probably two years now, and I discovered this because of Bernadette Banner's video and then some more digging I did this summer, and I really liked washing my hair with lemon juice and eggs since then. So I'm squeezing pretty much one whole lemon into here. And then I'm mixing it all up. Just produces a beautiful yellow mixture, which I am going to strain through a sieve just to get all the chunks of egg protein, seeds, all of that stuff out so I'm not getting chunks of egg in my hair when I go to wash it. And with that, we are ready to move on to the washing portion. So I'm here on the back porch so I don't make a mess, but I'm about to wash my hair the Edwardian way. Um, the last time I did this, I did do it in a shower. So we'll see how I do without the benefit of running water. I have my two pitchers, um, my shampoo, and my beautiful bucket, and we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna get my hair wet first because I found that that really helps um, get the shampoo through there. If you put it in dry, it just gets stuck all at the scalp, so. washing my hair with cold water, which serves a triple purpose. Um, you don't want to cook the eggs. It's good for my hair. Hot water tends to like dry and um, damage the hair. And also it's a really hot day and a head full of cold water feels really nice right now. Now that I've made sure my scalp is well and truly soaking, I am going to shampoo. And it's gonna be a similar process, but I'm just gonna pour this mixture in, scrub it in really well, make sure it's cleaning my scalp off, kind of combing it down with my fingers through the ends, and then begin the process of rinsing it off.
And I really want to massage it in and work it in because um, if I just pour it over and rinse it out, it doesn't do a lot of cleaning. And a lot of Edwardian manuals suggest that um, rubbing and massaging the scalp vigorously is really good for hair health and growth. And we all want that lovely, huge, full head of Gibson Girl hair. So I'm gonna give that some extra effort. It also helps dislodge any loose skin cells, any um, dandruff or loose hairs, and really helps clean out all the dirt as well. Um, I still have some more in there. I'm currently squeezing egg juice out of my hair. This is very dignified. Um, and now we're gonna try to get it out without running water, which I've never done before. Here goes. And time for the second one. I don't think my hair is quite clean yet. Um, it's very wet. though. It would help if my hair wasn't long enough to be constantly dipping into my um, bucket of dirty water, but I'll do my best. And I assume that in a household, you know, where it was not a single woman, where there was a maid or a sister or a mother or a daughter, um, hair washing would have been a lot easier with two people. Um, you can tell it's kind of hard for me to get the picture up above my head. Um, and it would be a lot easier if someone else could help me pour the water over. Um, but I think like with getting dressed, the aid of another person would make things easier, but not it doesn't mean that doing it by yourself is impossible. Um, plenty of women managed. Let's see. That feels pretty clean. I'm gonna rinse one more time, just to make sure. And check one more time for miscellaneous egg bits. I don't think I see any. I think we're doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, I um, am going to run and get my comb and comb my hair out and then let it air dry out here um, in the sun. But that's pretty much the process. I also need to dispose of the mess I just made. But that's how I wash my hair nowadays. And that's my hair pretty dry. I need to brush it tonight, but beautiful Edwardian hair. It's very fluffy and soft, and it'll go nicely into a big 
poofy updo once I get my hair out.